About 75 Utah veterans have spent the last couple of days in Washington, D.C. They're part of the Utah Honor Flight Program, which brings veterans to D.C. to see some of the sites and memorials of wars they, they served or fought in. That's right. News specialist Alice Cabrero is with that group in our nation's capital. Says day two was a busy but memorable one. Day two of the Utah Honor Flight in Washington, D.C. And just like yesterday, today had lots of memorials and lots of emotion. If there's one place where you can feel the respect and honor of everything being an American military member means, it's Arlington National Cemetery, where veterans with the Utah Honor Flight saw the changing of the guard ceremony at the tomb of the unknown soldier. This is very impressive. Everybody should do it once. Then it was on to the U.S. Marine Corps Memorial and the Iwo Jima sculpture of that famous moment signifying American victory. Memories of my friends. <laughs> For Ray Sorensen, a Marine from Manti who served during World War II, the memorial brought back feelings he may have forgotten he had. I lost my friends there. <laughs> it's a special privilege for me. It's how many veterans who visit these memorials feel and thankful the Utah Honor Flight gives them the opportunity to experience it. It is an eye-opener uh, and, and it's... Um, very patriotic. I felt the uh, American spirit uh, ever since we got on the plane. One stop to also feel that spirit was to the National Archives to see the very documents like the Constitution, Bill of Rights, and Declaration of Independence that make America what it is and the freedoms these veterans served and fought for. Oh, I think that's a tremendous thing that we get to see and go back in history and see what happened and how it was developed. The group returns home to Utah tonight, no doubt with great stories, great memories, and as they told me, a sense of being better appreciated for what they did for our country. This Utah Honor Flight program is certainly a special one. At the Baltimore airport, getting ready to go back to Salt Lake City, I'm Alex Cabrero, KSL 5 News.